Unknown to millions, this is the torchbearer who's ignited a diplomatic row between India and China. One of hundreds of so-called ordinary people picked to carry the flame, Colonel Chi Fao Bao is better known to Indian authorities as a soldier wounded two years ago in deadly clashes on the country's disputed border with China in the Himalayas. As a result, Delhi's top diplomat was absent from the Winter Olympics, but Beijing denies any hostile motives. Uh, for this torch relay, we abided by the principles of a wide selection process according to specific procedure. Many of those who participated in the torch relay were normal, everyday frontline workers. India is just the latest country to declare a diplomatic boycott of the Games after the United States, Canada, the UK, Australia and Japan decided not to send delegations to the opening ceremony. These governmental announcements were accompanied by demos in Washington, Paris and Delhi, where Tibetan protesters burned the Chinese flag. Many participants were expressing concerns about human rights violations, notably in the Xinjiang Autonomous Region, responding to reports of the violent oppression of the Muslim Uyghur population. The so-called China human rights issue is a lie made up by people with ulterior motives. I want to emphasize that the Olympics are a great spectacle for athletes and sports fans around the world. From the current situation, many countries and athletes have expressed their support for the Beijing Winter Olympics. For the EU, meanwhile, it's not a clear-cut issue. The European Parliament had voted last year to boycott the Games, but member states have made separate arrangements, with Spain and Hungary sending representatives to the opening ceremony, while Denmark announced a full diplomatic boycott of the event earlier last month.